Did you know that you can convert your GarageBand iOS projects into Logic Pro for iPad projects? It's quick, simple, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. If you're new to Logic Pro for iPad or you just want to learn a bit more about how to use it, check out all the tutorials linked in the description. The process here is as simple as opening your GarageBand project in Logic Pro for iPad, but there's a few things that I wanted to talk about just to make sure that it works out for you. So here is a project that I have here in GarageBand. It's my project for my song Work in Progress, and it's version 22 because I use version control when I'm creating songs. You can learn all about that in the video up there or in the description. So what I want to do first is just create a duplicate copy of this tap and hold on that one and hit duplicate and then just so you can see what this is all about I'm going to open this file work in progress 23 here it is in GarageBand iOS and here's what it sounds like We're all just a work in progress nobody's got it figured out so I've got some guitar tracks some vocals some MIDI instruments and a drummer track all here in this particular song. The cool thing is that I can actually send all of this to Logic Pro and Logic Pro for iPad is fully compatible. So let's jump over to Logic Pro now and open this project. So here in Logic Pro for iPad, you'll need to navigate to your GarageBand folder or wherever you store your GarageBand projects. Here's my song Temba and here it is. Here's that same project file. If we tap on this one here in Logic Pro, it's going to give us this. Would you like to open this GarageBand project and convert it? here in Logic Pro. So I'm gonna hit the continue button. It's going to do the conversion for you. And then bingo, it has opened up that project right here in Logic Pro for iPad. If we take a listen, it should sound very similar. Because we're all just a work in progress. Very cool. So everything has been copied over here. All of the sounds, all of the MIDI instruments, all of the patches for my guitars, and even the drummer sound. So if we come down here into a later section. We have the piano, the strings are here, all of the vocals, everything is here. And the reason that that works is that all of the same sound packs are here in Logic Pro as we have installed in GarageBand. Now, if you find any issues here, it may be because you haven't downloaded the sound packs in Logic Pro that you're using in GarageBand. To correct that, all we need to do is in the bottom left here, tap on this one to go to our browser, tap on the sound library, and if you scroll on down, these ones here, yes, there's that GarageBand logo there. That's our GarageBand compatibility pack. If that one's not installed, just hit the see all button there, tap on that one, and make sure it's installed. The same goes for any of your other sound packs in here or your drums all of your instrument packs your sound packs and your artist and producer packs so if you are finding it's not working you can jump in there and that should fix it now i have had reports from some folks that some of the sounds especially the more complex alchemy synth sounds are not working exactly as they desire so you may find a few things that just aren't quite exactly the same but in my experience you get a lot of compatibility here between GarageBand and Logic Pro. And why would you want to do this? Why do you want to transfer from GarageBand to Logic Pro? Well there's a couple of reasons. Number one is that you have this complete mixer here in Logic Pro so it makes it much easier to get a really good quality mix. You've got a whole bunch of additional plugins in Logic Pro for iPad that are going to be able to help your overall mix and you have a stereo out track so you can actually add plugins to your stereo out including the brand new mastering assistant to get those really radio ready sounding masters and if you want to learn about the mastering assistant check out the video up there or down in the description you also have a heap of other options you've got things like sample alchemy you've got a whole bunch more loops a whole bunch more audio patches and just a lot more when it comes to different sounds and options here in logic pro compared to garage band not saying that garage band isn't amazing i still use garage band i love garage band but if if you got those old projects that you'd love to remix or remaster or you got a half finished project and you want to take it into something a little bit different why not use this method to simply open your GarageBand projects here in Logic Pro and start working on them now once you are ready once you've done all your work here if you hit in the top left corner it's going to save this but remember it's saving it back to whatever folder you opened it in so you just keep that in mind and if you want to move that then you can just tap and hold here 
and copy and move it or paste it over into your Logic Pro for iPad folder or just leave it in your GarageBand folder if you would prefer. I hope you found this useful, interesting, insightful. Let me know how you get on. Are you looking forward to transferring your old GarageBand projects into Logic Pro? And again, check out the description for all of the links to all my GarageBand and Logic Pro for iPad videos. I'll see you next time.